What's going on team? Sherjan here, your personal mentor. So a lot of times, you know, people will say, oh my God, look at Jenny, she works at Goldman Sachs, she must be so smart. Or like, you know, look at Eric, he works at Catalyst, must be such a brainiac, right? The truth is, you know, these jobs, especially in investment banking, aren't, you know, you don't need to be academically smart for them. Uh, but a lot of times people just assume that just because you're in investment banking, you must be really smart. So as an example in front of you, you know me, I have a 3.0 GPA and my GMAT was 680. Uh, how can how come I was an analyst and an associate and a VP and still, you know, it was able to do the job. Now, I wasn't the best analyst associate or VP, but I was middle bucket and that's totally fine. I could still do the job and I could still do the job better than a lot of other people who had higher GPAs, had taken the right, you know, courses related to investment banking, let's just say, uh, and went to you know, better universities than I did. So the truth is you don't really need to be that smart academically to do this job. So what is a job, first of all? In investment banking, especially as an analyst and an associate, here's what you're doing. You're basically, first thing is you're working with PowerPoint. You're aligning logos and text boxes uh, in PowerPoint. So have you used PowerPoint before? Yeah, you have. You probably used it today, maybe you used it last week. It's a very simple software. There's no coding required. It's just a bunch of boxes. It's like Lego, but on a computer, right? So it's not a complex piece of software that you need to learn how to use. Anybody can learn how to use it. And the best part is the firms will teach you in the first month of training on how to use PowerPoint their way. So that's one thing that you do. That's pretty straightforward. Anybody can do that. You don't need a, a, a rocket science or some sort of, uh, you know, masters in economics or finance to learn how to use that software. The second thing that you do on a daily basis, is you create Word documents. Yes, Word documents. That's very hard. That's very complex. No, it's not, right? It's a very simple piece of software again, and you have to basically write memos. Yes, you need to format them and make them look nice and make, make them look client facing and uh, client ready. I get that part, but there's no level of like intellectually, you know, genius or super, super high IQ that you need to be able to do that. Anybody can write a great Word document or make a great Word document. Finally, you have to use Microsoft Excel. Yes, that's also not a very complex software. You're basically adding numbers, subtracting numbers, maybe multiplying numbers. That's pretty much it. Yes, you have to format them and make them look pretty, all that stuff. But like I said, they'll teach you how to do that. So what I'm basically trying to say is you don't need to be a, a brainiac or super smart kid, uh, you know, from an academic perspective to be able to do the job of investment banking. But what you do need is a lot of other things. First of all, you need great attitude, right? These industries, these jobs, investment banking especially, is a very, very hard and tough industry where you'll work like 16 to 20 hours a day uh, pretty regularly and consistently. And you need to have that you know, uh, awesome attitude all the time because more often than not, you'll have days that are tough, you'll have all-nighters, um, you'll have you know, bosses who are assholes sometimes, you'll have clients who are probably bigger assholes a lot of the times, um, and you'll get assignments on Friday nights and Saturday nights when all you wanna do is go on your Tinder date. So, you know, attitude is important and a good attitude is what's needed, and that's number one. You'll need to have and bring that to the table. Second, you need to be amazing at the communication game, meaning you're great at replying to emails and being there and making sure if someone asks you something, you're you know, quick to the reply and you're always available for them. So communication is super important because all of these projects and deals and deal environments like investment banking, uh, rely on teams and clients. So there's a lot of people involved. It's not like one person working in a silo. You need to be able to work with other people and to work effectively as a team, you need to be great at communicating. I wasn't good at communicating early on because I always loved you know, staying focused and doing the job. But then when I was at Morgan Stanley, my associate basically drilled that into me and he's like, you need to be better at communication. And I basically learned from him uh, and his name was Kyle and he was awesome. So build communication into your um, you know, toolkit and make sure you're great at communicating. Next one, which is super important, is GSD, getting shit done, right? Like I said, these industries, these jobs, investment banking are you know, hard and tough industries, tough environments, and sometimes you know, you'll be given a lot of stuff to do, but you only have time to do a few of those things. The person or the people who will you know, succeed in these industries are the people who can get shit done who can balance a bunch of things, right? For example, you may be on four live deals and your you know, a staffer might put you on a fifth live deal, or you might go on this road show at the same time. There's all of those things that, all of these things that can happen. The one thing that doesn't change, you still have 24 hours in the day. 
So somehow you just need to make things happen and get shit done. And sometimes things will look impossible. I remember there was a situation where we had a client meeting in New York and we had some technical issue where we did not have a projector in the office to present the presentation to the client. So guess what? I just ran to the local Best Buy, bought a projector, didn't worry about the cost because I like, we'll deal with that later. First, we got to win the client. And we brought that projector over, put it up, connected to a computer, and off we went, right? So getting shit done is important and, and people will trust you more if you're, you have that mindset of getting shit done. So that's the next thing that you should bring to the table. Similarly to getting shit done, it's GTS, get to solutions, right? A lot of times things go wrong, you know, printer's not working or, you know, I lost the, you know, the disc or, you know, we lost a USB drive or email's not working or whatever else, my computer crashed, doesn't matter. All of these problems will always exist and your bosses and especially your clients do not care about why things are not working. All they care about the solutions. So if you are someone who has that ability to find a solution, right, doesn't matter what's happening, find me a solution. So for example, I remember this, we were in a, in a, in a car with my, my managing director going to a client meeting and he was flipping through the deck and he noticed that one of the uh, slides had the wrong number on it, right? So he's like, sure, what are we gonna do about it? I'm like, we're just gonna rip it. <laughs> so literally in the car, he just ripped those, that page out of all the 20 books that we had. That's called getting to solutions, right? You all, all you have to do is bring ideas of solutions, not more problems. And if there's a problem, figure out the solution before your managers or senior people find out about it. Finally, you need to be a quick learner. That's one of the most important things because remember, these industries you're learning from a fire hose, there's a lot of stuff that's coming at you, not complex stuff, just high volume of stuff coming at you from new deals to new types of analysis that you need to do. So ability to learn and learn quickly is super, super important. And that's what people will look for uh, in a good analyst or a good associate. All right, so that's the video guys. Don't be worried if you feel like you're not smart and you're not in the master's of finance degree and you don't have a 4.0 GPA. Look at me, right? I don't have any of those things and I'm still able to you know, rise up in the organization at Morgan Stanley and do somewhat well. And I think you can do well as well. And if you meet anybody who acts like they're hot shit because they're an investment banker and they're smarter than you, just call, out on, call them out on their bullshit and just tell them, hey, all you do is you align logos. All right, hopefully that helps. Good luck.